Good morning, everyone. It is 7.30 in the morning here at Canberra on a Saturday. And we're going to talk about our string, string plants. Here's my beautiful string of pearl and it's flowering. It's gorgeous. I'm going to talk about how to look after them. This has actually been attacked by aphids and it's been treated. Okay. But this one here sits in my pergola all year round. This one is string of pearl, the normal one, not the variegated one. Here's my other one. This is also same family, Snakeo string of watermelon. It's full of spider. I let it sit there. Here it is. It's also flowering. Okay, isn't it gorgeous? Okay, there are so many variety, so many different ones. Show you the variegated form. Here's my string of pearl variegated. When it gets to sun, it goes a little bit purple. Here it is. And here is the other one. Look at that. That one's got more variegation. Beautiful. Oh, that's the pearl. This is the variegated tears, string of tears. Look at that variegation. So cute. Show you the bigger one I have. My children's been here playing. <laughs> feels like summer sometime. Here's the one that sits in the sun. This is the string of tear. The variegated form is also known as um, angel's tear or clown's tear and it has the pointy tip it's in the same family as the pearl but see it has that little pointy tip so it's called string of tears let's go have a look at our other string form here's my watermelon see that watermelon has marking when they're stressed and it had this cute little window that's where they take the sun in and they have beautiful, beautiful little white flower. They have the same shape as the tear, but it has the little marking. That's why it's called watermelon. Looks like watermelon. I have my other string here. Out here on my, what's that? <laughs> Water bird bath. Need to be extra careful. Okay. Here's my string of banana. All the way down. This is the stress form. Goes more purple in the sun. So gorgeous. And next to it, here's my string of beans. And they all pretty much sit here all year round. I don't do anything to it. In winter, it's become hard. It's become frozen, but then they slowly thaw out and they will still be alive. So look at that. The only one that doesn't do well in frost would be the dolphin. Here's the dolphin. It looks like a dolphin. That's why it's got a string of dolphin. So this one died back in winter and then regrow. This is the bean. It's perfectly fine, doesn't suffer anything in winter. And the banana are okay too. The beans are all right too. They become this beautiful purple color when you expose them to the sun. And the growing season is between spring to autumn, so they don't grow during winter. So it's good time now to give them fertilizer. I would fertilize them in the beginning of spring and at the end of spring and a bit more in autumn i don't fertilize in summer i'm focusing on watering in summer because it gets really hot here in camera and at the moment i would highly recommend to water them once a week in spring when it starts to get hot because they like more water than normal normal succulents look at that isn't that beautiful 
Let's get more of my bath bath arrangement. I think I did video on this previously and it's doing really, really well. I'm extremely, extremely happy. The one has suffered the most would be Leticia who suffered during winter. Oh, look how beautiful this. This one doesn't get as much sun. So it doesn't have that purple stress. And there you go. It's time to grow out the string of dolphin. I think here's the other side. I can't see very well, can I? Here's the other one, the banana I put in. I love that purple stress. Just water them once a week. They like more water than other plants. This one here in this basket only gets water from the rain. I don't water them. And when it's getting hotter, that's when the bugs are out as well. So if you have them, just keep an eye out for, what you call it? Mealybugs and aphids. Cause that's when they're out now. So my watermelon, isn't it gorgeous? So many different varieties. So much love to give right now. Ooh. Especially with lots of new growth, they can have lots of aphids. So my pearl here. There you go. It's been attacked by aphid from new growth. And it became really sticky and dry. And because I was treating for the aphids, I didn't water. And the pearl became a little bit dry. Here's my other one. Okay. You see when the, see the pearl here? See that little crease? It means they're thirsty. They become soft. That means they need water. And I'm going to be repotting today, is why I haven't watered them. I'm going to show you how to repot strings. If they become yellow and fall off, it means too much water. So make sure you don't water too often. Just make sure you wait for them to dry between watering. But because it's been hot in spring at the moment, it's becoming towards summer. So it becomes hotter and more sun. They dry out much faster. That means I can water them more often. I water mine once a week, except this one. This one I haven't watered in two weeks because I'm gonna repot them. The original soil that come in, I bought this from the shop. I'm not sure you can see. It's really, really dry. There you go. Look, look how dry it is. It's really dry. I'm going to show you how to repot them and how I'm going to put them to match all my other succulents. So we'll get started on repotting right now. Yay! Let's do some repotting everyone. Okay, here we are with the pot I wanted to put them in. So it's right here. Then I'm going to put this in. Okay, so let's see how we're going to do this. So I've got my succulent soy mix here, which is very porous. And we'll scoop that in. Okay, the root system are not very big. They're not very deep, so I just put a little bit and left about that much underneath the pot so we can put our plants into. Okay. So just take this hanging off first just so we can get the pro out. Okay. They're a snakeo family. Take them out. Look how dry the soil is. It's very, very dry. Just pop that on the floor. Okay, so I just realized what they have is actually cocoa peat. There you go. Or peat moss. See, they're really, really dry. 
don't recommend using this on your succulents because it's really really dry okay so all the root here is dried so that's useless okay i highly recommend taking all this off might come off easier if I soak this but I won't be doing that okay I'm just gonna repot them straight away but I'm gonna try to get as much of this as I could out so you make sure you hold on to your pearl because this really really dries out and when you water them it stay wet for longer as well I guess that's why the shop have them so they don't have to water so often so when they do water it stays wet for longer so they don't have to water okay let's tease all that So sit that in. Now I have more of this. Put more soil in. other side okay so make sure look how big that one is so in all around use your tool and push the soil down just use your finger you just do this okay you don't want it to be compact so you don't lose soil level but you don't want to be Packing them like concrete either. Okay. Just push it all the way around. You just try to put a little bit on the inside. Just them. Okay, and there you have it. String of pearl all potted up. I think I might do the string of watermelon next. And I would, because I just teased all the root, I will leave it about a week before I water again. That will survive another for another week. It is no problem at all. And where to position them? Okay. Pro, when they stay in the sun, can you see that change color? It goes brown and then it goes red. But mine has morning sun. They like morning sun. Or you can have it inside the house in a bright lit room with lots of filter sunlight they don't mind the only thing is you tend to have mealy bugs when you have succulent inside the house so you're just gonna be very careful and treated them but i like mine outside i like mine hanging under my pergola so it has the afternoon sun or it has the morning sun it doesn't have the lunchtime sun because that's too strong for them and I water them regularly. So once a week for them, or when it dries out. So once it dries out, just water them again. They like water. If you want them to be plump, 
like this this one then you water if you don't water it becomes like this it's shrivel and it becomes soft and if you too much water it turns yellow and falls off just be extra careful on which what how much water they're taking so if it has too much water is not good for them but they are so pretty once they're potted up look how gorgeous they are hey. let's do the string of watermelon i'll go get another pot and i'll come back okay everybody i'm back with the pot okay i forgot to mention here i have a drill drill hole in the pot and i put mesh down to prevent the soil from falling through and here we're going to use the same method just making sure my everything is all good so let's put my succulent soy mix in and this one i leave just a little bit from the top yeah, this one has hole in them because it was supposed to be a hanging rope but they use twine which rots when water so after a while it rots and it will break that's why i put mine in macrame well one of the reason i put mine in the macrame hanging i make it and i like the macrame beautiful beautiful hanging style so i make my own there's a video on that as well if you haven't seen it please don't forget to have a look okay so this one's flowering here i have a name let's take this off so this one has been in here <laughs> for a while now because i haven't been able to get the pot because we were in lockdown and when they had it sent to me, most of them were broken. Okay. I lost one or two already. Oh, I lost pro. I lost a. Okay. Gotta be extra careful with this one. It's got the string growing between them. There we go. I think I lost one. Just get it, get it. Okay. Just so we can put it up easily. Sorry, spider. Some may not like spider. Oh, I broke it. Okay. Some may not like spider. I like spider. It eats away all the bugs, like earwigs that are biting insect, and I have such bad earwigs here of the moisture when we have so much rain and the earwigs are out and they just bite all throughout my plants especially aeonium they love aeonium don't know why we have caterpillars here in spring and not a big fan of them because they always eat through the center of new growth okay so this one it should be in soil. Oh, look, I lost two. Put your hand in there and gently. Okay, I might move this out of the way real quick. Okay. And gently lift and then tease the soil. Give all that soil out. The old soil is no more nutrition in there for them. Oh, look, it's got grubs in there. There's a few grub in there. These grubs here, they will turn into beetle christmas beetle so we'll put them in the garden somewhere 
where they be survive. But for now, we'll just take them out of here because they do eat roots here. Okay, just rock. Okay, they have such big root system this one because they're old. Okay, so just gently. They're very forgiving. So just be gentle. I might need to remove some of the soil to put this in because of how great the roots are. Okay, so make a row in the middle. Just pop them in. But I think that's too much, so I might just grab some soil out. Okay, that's it. We're done for this one. I have put the soil in in between and I have put the soil in here on the side and just been pushing it with my <laughs> the back of the brush to pack the soil in so I don't miss all the little hole and crack. Okay, so I push them in and I lift about a centimeter or half a centimeter from the top just so that when watering, not like the water actually have a place to sit and falls through. Okay. Okay, these are gorgeous. And they're very, very easy to propagate as well. So I can see I've broken a piece off. Two pieces, really. So to propagate watermelon, oh, no, just the one piece. So just stick it back in like this. If it's a string of pearl, so you can just lay it down like this. The root will come on this end. If you lay the pearl down, you can use a little pin to stick them down and they will grow roots for you. Okay. Okay, the same with the leaves, so we'll just pop it in there and they will grow <laughs> roots. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more video. And I also have an Instagram at Sweet Sweet Eye and Facebook Sweet Sweet Eye Succulents for extra photo that I don't normally put on YouTube channel. And thank you all for watching. I really enjoy making this video for my love of string succulents. Have a lovely day everyone. We will see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.